and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 3rd of November, the local media headlines today. Now I know that some of you think that there should be no place in the news for the weather and most of the time I would agree but there are times when the impact of the weather is so severe that it demands its place on the front page. And when weather becomes climate, a consequence of human activity, then it seems pretty obvious that it's worth its place among the headlines. Another thing which is also obviously the consequence of human activity is sewage dumping in the sea. A report on how the downdraft from a helicopter ended up killing an elderly woman at Dereford Hospital last year says that none of the health authorities or aircraft crew had properly considered the risks. And another two-horse party political bun fight is underway on a town council. Labour and the Liberal Democrats are both in pursuit of bragging rights in St Austell. Few of Cornwall's media tried very hard to report anything other than the storm yesterday. The BBC was among the first to find someone who was woken early in the morning when the roof of her house blew away. The young woman was in an attic bedroom when it happened. Her landlord is now trying to find her somewhere else to live. Pirate FM was among those to list all the school closures. The Falmouth Packet warned of the severe travel disruption. The Cornish Times tried to keep up with all the power cuts. And finally, Cornwall Live had lots of photos of fallen trees. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye bye.